Hi, my name is Baldwin Chu, and I'm the producer of Far East Deep South. The film follows my family as we went out to Mississippi in search for answers about what happened to my grandfather. We discovered a lot of surprises about my family, but also learned about the challenges the Chinese faced in the segregated South. There were some of the leaders in the Chinese mission who had changed their name because they did not want their name to show that they were Chinese. Was I proud to be Chinese? No. And I always felt like I was, I was being singled out for being different. I don't want my mother to speak Chinese with me in public because I felt embarrassed by that. In school, I was one of four Chinese people there. Elementary, definitely got teased for it. I wanted to have blue eyes and blonde hair. I thought I was Italian until I was about six years old because you know all the kids that I grew up with were Italian. I remember going to elementary school and they were like, oh, you're Chinese, you must know karate. And you know, of course, I didn't really challenge them or <laughs> tell them that karate is actually Japanese. And they all jumped me, kicked me up against the fence. I remember going back to the teacher crying. As a kid, Nothing you do about it, you just, you just suck it up. And my parents, I know it's hurtful for them. And they basically tell us, too, you got to suck it up. That's the way it is. When I was a little girl and I was called names, my mother always said, chalk it up to their ignorance. They don't understand who we are. There may have been some challenges, but we're proud to be Chinese and Americans, too, at the same time. So. I don't think we're any different. Hey, thanks for watching. To learn more about Far East Deep South, see more clips, and also learn more about this part of history through other resources, visit fareastdeepsouth.com, or you can also follow us on social media.